You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the Beautiful Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about Hope making a move on Thomas and the undeniable chemistry that we're seeing despite a whole faction of fans hating, hating what Bold and the Beautiful is doing right now with Thomas and Hope. We're going to dig into that, but first, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our updates on Bold and the Beautiful, YNR, your favorite CBS soaps, all your soaps, right here on Soap Dirt at YouTube. So there's a huge pile of fans that are anti Thope, Thomas and Hope's smush name, but it sure sounds like Brad Bell is not listening because it's definitely heating up. This week, we see Hope trying on a dress when there's not a model available, and Thomas is not doing anything inappropriate. He is not touching her in a way that he wouldn't be touching the other model, but Hope is getting all hot and bothered. The last time she got this hot and bothered, she went home and she banged Liam extremely enthusiastically on their sofa while thinking about Thomas, and Liam, if you remember, was like, wow, where did that come from? Well, where it came from was Thomas having his hands on her, and that was even after Liam walked in on Hope falling on him and exploded, chastised Thomas, chastised chastised her, blew up, had a tantrum, and she still was fantasizing about Thomas. That was after Liam's tantrum. Now we see this week where this very short skirt, which is a, usually they have on these long gowns, they might have slits and stuff, but this is a very short skirt. And Thomas was checking out the hem and talking about adjusting the hem, but him having his hand on that hem right by her thigh had Hope just sweating. So then the next scenes, and of course we haven't seen him yet just because of when when we're taping this video right now. We haven't seen the fallout from that, but Hope does something. She swoons, she touches him. There's something, you'll probably have already seen it by the time you see this video. But the bottom line is, Steffi Forrester peeps in and she sees Hope in an obvious situation where she's lusting over Thomas. It's not clear if Thomas notices this. Maybe it's just Hope, like, licking her lips and drooling behind Thomas's back. It's not clear if, if Thomas, if she touches him, kisses him, or it's just lust written on her face. But either way, Steffi Forrester sees something, and she confronts Hope next week. That's an official CBS Soap spoilers. She asks Hope, what is going on? She has already asked Hope before if she has some kind of thing cooking up for her brother, and Hope denied it. And what was funny was when Liam confronted Thomas, Thomas said, I won't get involved with Hope no matter what, even if she makes a move on me. And that just blew Liam's mind. Remember, he was furious at the very idea that his wife might be interested in this villain. But oh, she is. And we keep hearing Brooke's voice echoing around in her head. Brooke has almost gaslit her daughter into getting hot for Thomas, right? And Liam just freaked at the idea of it. But then later that night, Liam enjoyed the benefits of Hope thinking about Thomas. And so it's very clear that whatever is driving this thing with Hope, it is accelerating. And we are going to see things pick up speed in May Sweeps. That is from official May Sweeps spoilers from CBS. So here's what's interesting. A Twitter poll that someone ran asked readers to rank the chemistry of Hope's partners. And they offered as your choices, rank rank who, which one has the best chemistry, Thomas and Hope, Hope and Wyatt, Hope and Liam. Can you guess the results? Because it's very funny because Hope and Liam, her current husband, ranked third. He ranked third behind both his brother and Thomas. Thomas and Hope ranked 65%. Hope and Wyatt, 25%. Hope and Liam, 10%. So at least for the, the hundreds of people that replied to this Twitter poll, they think that Thomas and Hope have great chemistry. However, we want to share some other tweets with you because some people are extremely upset about this thing taking off with Thomas and Hope. Twitter user Chelsea Miller said, Bold and Beautiful will continue trying to romanticize a abuse by throwing Hope, the victim, under the bus for Thomas, her stalker. It won't work. Women don't suddenly think stalkers are hot. Sure, this guy deserves to get the girl. Sure. Another Susan Daw said Thomas is a pile of, and she put a bunch of poop emojis. (laughs) 
that kept Hope's baby from her, and now she has feelings for a bad boy. This storyline is crap. Thomas is a psychopath. Miss P says, are we never to hear the end of this CPS crap? Now, she's taking a different tact on this, okay? She's not anti-Thomas, just to segue into this. Miss P asks, how is it Ridge finds it more unforgivable than Brooke pushing Thomas off a cliff and almost killing him, or Hope pushing Thomas into a vat of liquid and opting not to tell his family that he might be dead? She is not wrong. You remember Hope was talking to Thomas outside the cliff at Malibu and Brooke just ran up on them when Thomas wasn't even touching her and (laughs) Brooke just did a football move and strong armed him off the edge of a cliff. It is a miracle he survived. I still maintain that his residual brain injury that made him sleep with that mannequin was something to do with her punting him off a cliff onto the hard sand. So, you know, he's not wrong. Ridge just totally let that slide that she tried to murder his son for no reason. Uh, Angel Pomeranian gal says, LOL, ooh, hope, haha. She got the tummy tingles when he touched that hemline. Also, it's a lot shorter than most HFTF dresses, so I think it's symbolic of hope exploring her wild side. Heh <laughs> heh. Hashtag Thope. She's clearly a fan. And uh, Twitter user Whit had another thing that was pro Thomas and Hope, saying, Hope is smart enough to realize how sexy a man is who is devoted totally to her. No divided hearts. Thomas will choose her every time. Liam's a butterless waffle. And of course, you know, Liam has been called Waffle Boy by many reasons. So there, there's a lot to unpack and a lot to think about there. Now, next week, according to official CBS Soap Spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi confronts Hope. We're wondering, will Hope lie? Or will she back down? Will she just say, oh, no, you just misread the room? Or will Hope actually come clean with her stepsister and say, yeah, you know, I'm pretty hot for your brother, and I don't know what to do about it? So there are some things that I think that they need to do to clean up this mess if they are going to leave Hope and Thomas on this road to romance. The first thing is they need to clarify that the baby Beth situation was not Thomas's creation. Thomas didn't do this. Thomas walked in on the lie after a whole lot of people already knew about it and were keeping the messy secret. Okay. Thomas did encourage them to keep the lie hidden. He didn't invent it and he didn't, he wasn't even the second person to know. Felony Flo Fulton is the person who helped steal Hope's baby. She sold Hope's baby to Steffi. Felony Flo is the problem, but Flo got a complete pass. She even got a job at Forrester Creations. She got a ring from Wyatt Spencer. Now she's gone. There's no reason not to throw Flo under the bus and just make it clear, this is all Flo's fault because it is. She created the lie. She helped create the situation. She was in on it with Reese Buckingham from the start. And she's the one who needs to be taking the heat. Thomas is taking the whole heat for it. And that's not right. All right. Number two, we need to remind viewers what Hope reminded Liam of the other day. He is a serial cheater who is not devoted to her. He has waffled back and forth between her and Steffi, and he might still be doing it today if Steffi hadn't gotten lucky enough to find Finn, who is actually solely devoted to her. Doesn't Hope deserve someone who's solely devoted to her? Liam has his other option off the table. Who's to say that he would still be true to Hope at this point if Steffi were not occupied by her husband, Finn? We can't discount that. And even now with the drama going on, Liam keeps running back to Steffi. So the the waffleness is still there. Number three, we have to remember that Hope is a whole grown ass woman. She can decide who she wants to sleep with, even if she's married to Liam. It's not like Liam hasn't cheated on her before. If Hope wants to do this, Hope is an adult who can decide to do that. That doesn't mean it's ethical. It doesn't mean she shouldn't walk away from Liam first. But the bottom line is, as an adult person, she can decide what she wants to do and who she wants to do it with. And if she wants to do it with her ex-stepbrother, then that is her business. Now, she probably should come clean to Liam, call things off, whatever. But she gets to do what she wants. She's an adult. If you haven't already, 
Click to subscribe below so you don't miss any of our bold and the beautiful and other CBS soap updates. Let us know in the comments where you stand on this because people like to demonize. They always like to bring up the baby bath thing. Thomas didn't invent that that situation. He did not sell her baby. He did not steal her baby. Yes, he chose to keep the lie going. In that situation, really the worst thing that Thomas actually did was try to get his son not to tell the truth and driving the intern off the road. That was bad. That's the thing that people don't always talk about. They keep talking about the baby thing. If we're going to blame Thomas for something, let's blame him for the intern's death and not the baby situation. Let us know what you think in the comments because it definitely seems like this Hope and Thomas thing is heating up and that Brad Bell is really going there this time. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.